Dr. Soames, I am Professor Jiri Padil, Assistant Professor, Department of Policy and Applied Engineering, KKO College of Agriculture, Engineering and Technology, Nash. So today is, we are going to study the topic cylinder separator, means intended cylinder separator. The cylinder separator is also a link sizing separator which lives on the size or short particles from the mass of seed. Also it is similar to disc separator but in other ways it is quite different. Although manufactured by several companies, cylinder separators are basically alike. They can be used as single units or stacked one above the other and used to complement each other. Then parts of the machine. The intended cylinder machine consists of two basic parts. First is cylinder and second is receiving trough. Also other parts in this machine which are related to the effectiveness of the separation are the leveler or conveyor, the retarder and the feed hopper. However, the cylinder is the most important part of the separator. So this figure shows view of intended cylinder showing trough adjustment. Okay. The first part of the machine, so this is the feed hopper. The feed hopper receives seed to be cleaned from the elevator or from the some other sources. From the feed hopper, the seed are fed into the machine for cleaning. The feed hopper can be equipped with mechanical rod feeder which provides uniform feeding when very light materials or small volumes are being handled. Where most feed hoppers on cylinder machines are small and provide only for the receiving of the seed into the machine. Second part is cylinder. The cylinder performs the separation in this machine. It is similar to drum with both ends removed and revolves about the horizontal central shaft. The walls of the cylinders or cells are lined with indents or pockets formed into shape approximately hemisphere. The size of the cells varies from machine to machine. They range from 17 inches to approximately 24 inches in diameter. They also vary greatly in length. Some are 56 inches long, while others are as long as 90 inches. Okay. There are two basic types of indents, conical and hemispherical. The hemispherical indents have a straight side walls and a circular bottom. The conical indent is tapered and is larger at the top than at the bottom side. The indent sizes are listed in 64th of an inch and come in a wide range. For example, a cylinder designed by the number 22 has indents of 22 by 64 inch in diameter. There are no other figures or letters used to describe the indents. Also, there is no way to determine the shape or depth of the indent from the number. An example of cylinder sizes used for some separations are given in an accompanying table. Okay, so this figure shows cross section of cylinder length separator A stands for the cylinder wall with indents stamped into it B stands for the adjustable trough catching short liquid seed C stands for the separating edge of the adjustable trough and D stands for the other conveyors in the bottom of the cylinder that conveys long rejected material out of the cylinder and second diagram right side this is the interior surface of cylinder is shown at right side okay next part of this machine is the receiving trough. The receiving trough is a device to receive the liftings. The configuration of the receiving trough varies from machine to machine, but its function remains the same. The trough is adjustable in order to permit making a cut at the most desirable point. Material dropped into the receiving trough is conveyed to the tail end of the machine and discharged into spot that carries it away from the machine. Two methods are employed to convey this material screw type conveyor or vibrating type receiving trough. The latter type of trough is found in some American and some foreign ma machines. Okay. Next part of the machine is leveler or conveyor. So it is necessary to have some means of conveying seed through the machine in order to discharge the particles that are not lifted by the indents. So this is usually accomplished by one of two methods in some of the smaller, especially shorter cylinder type machines. It is accomplished by elevating the feed end of the machine to a point that allows the rejected material to flow uniformly through the cylinder. Most machines however use some mechanical means inside the cylinder to perform this operation. A screw conveyor in the bottom of the cylinder will keep the mass level, prevent stratification and also convey the material to the discharge. Another method is the use of grain lines blades which break up the mass and also convey. And last part of the machine is retarder. The retarder is done at the discharge end of the machine. 
it may be adjusted to hold the seed at any desirable level without the retardant the seed mass is less at the discharge end of the machine because the small particles are lifted out of the seed mass without the retarder surging sometimes results surging is the rocking back and forth of the seed mass as the cylinder rotates by retarding the discharge the depth of the seed can be increased to the point where no surging occurs and the best separation is accomplished okay so these are important parts of the machine from feed hopper cylinder leveler or conveyor receiving truck okay and then retarder okay then principles of operation okay principle operation means working principle of this machine the seat to be clean are fed into the upper or fed end of the rotating cylinder since all indents in a single cylinder are of the same type and size all indents dip essentially the same size particles short seed or particles drop into the indents as the indents pass under the seed bank in the cylinder they are lifted and held in the indents until force of gravity overcomes centrifugal force and they drop into the receiving trough from the receiving trough they are discharged out of the machine the long seed travel the entire length of the cylinder and are discharged over the retarder into a hopper that removes them from the machine at the fin end of the cylinder separator there is naturally a large quantity of undersized particles two or three of which may fall into an indent at one time as they are depleted intermediate sizes are lifted out of the mass at approximately the center of the cylinder length at the tail end of the cylinder the final and most suitable size selection by the indent is accomplished okay then important adjustment in cylinder separator when the indent cylinder operates on the centrifugal force principle by which the speed of the cylinder holds the shorter seeds in the indent lifting them out of the mass until the indent is inverted to the point where gravity causes the lifted particles to fall out of the indent shape and size of the indent and the seed seed coat texture moisture content and weight of the seed are combined to make certain seed lips close to the vertical center before they fall out since it is only practical to use one size and shape of indent in a cylinder separations are accomplished by two adjustment speed change which increase or decrease centrifugal force and the setting of the edge of the trough which captures the desired liftings so these two adjustment give the cylinder separator extreme flexibility okay also the adjustment in cylinder separator versus rate of feed it is necessary to control the rate of feed if the rate is too slow then failure to attain capacity becomes problem if the rate to is rate is too fast not enough time is allowed for cleaning if the feed varies all particles will not have the same length of time to be separated as other particles the rate of feed is controlled by opening and closing the feed gate so this is important adjustment in cylinder separator then position of trough degree of separation is controlled by the position of separating edge of the receiving trough the separating edge is the edge adjustment to the rising side of the cylinder if some of the long seed are lifted out by the indents the trough is set to low if the trough is set to high shorter seed shorter seed pick up by the indents will fall back into the mixture and be discharged with the long seed at the end of the cylinder okay means position of trough means separating edge is the edge adjustment to the rising side of the cylinder if some of the long seed are lifted out by the indents okay means the trough is set to low that time long seed are lifted out of by the indents if the trough is set to high the short seed pick up by the indents will fall back into the mixture and be discharged with the long seed at the end of the cylinder the next adjustment is speed of cylinder the desirable speed can be determined by setting the trough level and then adjusting the speed of the cylinder so that the seed pick up by the indents will fall into the trough from the top of the cylinder it is important that the cylinder be run at the correct speed if the speed is too slow the indents will reject some of the short seed that should be lifted speed is adjusted by changing variable speed rate okay this is also important adjustment in cylinder separator the next adjustment is action of leveler or conveyor in those machines that use an increase in elevation of the feed end of the machine as means of conveying an adjustment is sometimes necessary so this is done by increasing or decreasing the elevation to properly convey the material through the cylinder and last adjustment in cylinder separator is position of the retarder 
The retarder is adjusted to maintain proper level throughout the entire length of the cylinder. The adjustment of the retarder will depend on the type of seed being processed and the amount and size of the material being lifted. Okay. So these are important adjustments in intended cylinder separator. Rate of feed, position of trough, speed of cylinder, action of level of conveyance and position of the retarder. Okay. Thank you.